Hi guys, my name is Leila and today I'm going to talk about six tips for beginner artists and of course I'm not saying that if you want to be an artist you need to follow all of them I just hope that you will find something for yourself and I know that if uh, I knew these things before I begin it will be a little bit easier for me and you really asked me to make this kind of video and yes, let's begin! Quantity is more important than quality. What it means, if you're just beginning to making art, it will be more useful if you will make a dozens of little sketches than a few big ones. Because uh, you can spend the same time for making a lot of little sketches and the same thing you can spend to make one big broken canvas. And of course the first option will be more useful for you and will, will make you more better in art because uh, when you wait making a lot of little arts artworks uh, you just make a lot of mistakes and you just try to correct them and that's the way all of us is learning to make something and just correcting our mistakes. Uh, drawing a lot of little things uh, will make you progress faster and of course it will be motivate you and you will want to make it more and more and more and that's how it works. Don't try to make big ones, just work on little ones and of course in a few months when you really see that your skills are better you can begin to make big things too. Get inspired by other artists and copy. Uh, I know that a lot of people and artists will hate me uh, because of the things I'm saying now, but guys, it really works. When you find some artists you like their artworks and you want to be like them, you just begin to copy their works and it is how you will learn some techniques you need for your future. Uh, of course, all of this, uh, all of these copying things, you need to do only with one purpose, just to learn something. You can't share it on your Instagram or any other blog, you can't sell it, you can't have money from it, and you can't say to somebody that it's your idea, because it's not the right thing you do. Uh, you don't have a right for doing that kind of things. And only if you want to learn something you just can't copy something uh, I mean uh, there is a lot of people who uh, create some of my arts and send it to me and I'm really it makes me really very happy that someone tries my works and uh, sometimes they just ask me can they share it in uh, on their Instagram and I say of course you can share it but just you need to write credit, you need to give a credit to me, you just need to write that you were inspired by me and then you can do whatever you want. But I know a lot of artists who really don't like that kind of things, who don't like when someone copies their art and shares it, even when they're just writing that they were inspired by someone. That's why just uh, before you do something, please ask the artist is it okay for that person that you are copying their artwork? That's how you really can learn something. It's really cool when you have some artists you really want to be like. I don't mean that you need to compare your art with someone other's art. It's not good because it will make you feel bad about your artworks. Not, I'm not saying about that. I'm not saying that copying other artists' works will make you an artist. Not every time you need just try to make something yours, to add something yours. And one day there will be not a need to have someone's work and you will just make your ones. Share your work. Guys, it's really super important to share it. A few years ago, when I began to draw, I just was so afraid that someone can see what I'm making. I was so ashamed of it. I don't know why. I just can't draw in my house when there's someone else in house. My family, my parents or my brother. I was so afraid that someone will come for, uh, to my room and see what I'm doing and I just stopped to draw, really stopped to draw for a 
for a long time. One year ago I began to draw again and now I'm sharing with a lot of people with my art. I'm not saying that all of you need to open an Instagram account and become a blogger. You can share with your art with your family, with your friends, where you're, with anyone who are ready to hear something about you know, the situations where uh, some parents or uh, friends are not supporting you. A few days ago I received a message from one little girl. She says that her parents really don't like that she's drawing. They say to her that she needs to do something more important and more useful things. And it's really sad to hear that kind of things and I'm so sorry for those who are not supported by their family and friends because I'm super lucky in that situation. can't make something uh, what will please everyone around. I mean, there are people who don't like, who hate Van Gogh's paintings and of course it's normal that there will be people that uh, will say that what you're doing is ugly or not beautiful and you need to stop doing that and just just don't stop please all you need to do is just keep going don't stuck in one material uh, i mean that uh, of course you can be inspired by watercolor arts and you buy your watercolors begin to draw with them and you really like it and you really have a joy with that but uh, please uh, try to um, buy other things to try to uh, paint with acrylics with gouache with oil paints with markers with brush pens uh, with ink with oh my god there is uh, so many things you can try and don't stuck in one thing when you're in beginning of your art journey uh, it's more important to try a lot of things because only in that way you can understand what you love really because uh, okay you can be super happy with your watercolors but maybe will uh, when you will try acrylic it can make you more happier and you can spend more time to be better in acrylic paintings and uh, all i say is just try to use new things every time i really try uh, to use all materials i can find in my city i mean it, i don't say that you need to buy the most expensive things just buy the uh, paints for children my first acrylic paints was uh, paints for children my watercolors my gouache paintings even my oil paintings was just for children and they was super cheap but uh, trying them I just can see what I really like and I don't like and you know trying new things is every time a good idea really stop looking for your style oh my god that style problem is a big was a big problem for me too because I was searching for it I was trying to find my style I, and I spent a lot of time and energy for it and all was for nothing because you can't find your style it's not the things that you can find when you're practicing a lot and do when you're drawing painting a lot you just understand which color is good for you which kind of things you like to draw which paints are better for you all of that things came together and that's what makes your style and if you will try just to make that style just to create that style i promise you will just trying to imitate any other artist's style and you know it's not the right thing to do it will bring you just nowhere you know that feeling when you see some artwork and you just say okay i recognize i know who is the artist of course it's a good feeling but you can't create that you can't do that and just stop thinking about your style just practice and it will came i promise you it will came uh, stop searching for your style and i know that your style will find you <laughs> work without inspiration yes uh, i know that inspiration is a great feeling and inspiration is a thing that makes our creative and we all need it and when we feel inspired it, it 
it's the most beautiful thing in the world. I think about when you're studying for some exam in school or university, no matter, and you just uh, study. You don't wait for inspiration for study, okay? You just sit and do the things you need to do for exam. And think about drawing like that. It's an exam, it's in things you need to learn and you need to study for that. And you can't wait inspiration. If I will draw only when I have inspiration, I will have only two posts in a month because it's normal that you can't be inspired every day or every week. This year I am spending for my study and for my university and my medicine exams and it's my priority this year. That's why I can't draw or paint uh, in weekdays from Monday to Friday because I really don't have any time. And all I have is just a few uh, few hours in weekend mornings. Uh, it's because in morning I have good lighting and I can uh, make these videos. And yes, if you're thinking that every weekend I have inspiration and good mood, it's not like that because there's a lot of weekends where I feel really not inspirational and I have bad mood. For me it's just a work, okay? I feel it like a work. I need to do it. I'm waking up and do things I need to do. It's how it works. You can't wait for inspiration for weeks or for months and if you will do it, I just know that you can't learn something. You can't study that way. I'm not saying that if you really feel yourself very bad, you need to uh, go and force yourself for painting or drawing. Not of course. In that days, we need to rest. Uh, I'm talking about the days where you, we feel ourselves lazy, and I just I don't want to do something. And when you have an exam tomorrow and you need to study. If you will even feel yourself super lazy or uh, in bad, you will be in bad mood, you will just stand up and make things done. Of course, if art for you is just the way uh, you can spend your time joyful and uh, it's not things you need to study for, you can sit and wait your inspiration. I'm talking about people who really want to learn how to draw, who really wants to achieve some result and that's how it works you need to do it like a work like a start of things not just like a journey these were all tips i want to share with you today and i hope it was useful for you hope you like this video and if it's so just let me know about it in comments and subscribe to my new youtube channel and I have other tips too, so if you want, I can make the second part of this video. And have a good day. Goodbye.